Whoa, whoa, whoa! It was Donna and that big muscle-head man. Yuna will be the one to suffer the consequences. Uh, what consequences? She could be excommunicated. The chamber beyond is a sacred place. Only summoners may enter. What? Even guardians can't go? It's taboo! Oh. Just wait. So what? The Faith, remember? Oh yeah. That thing, right. The Faith are people who gave their lives to battle sin. Yevon took their souls. Willingly given from their still living bodies. Huh? Now they live forever, trapped in statues. But when a summoner beckons, the souls of the faith emerge once again. That's what we call an Aeon. All that in this room? So, so what's Yuna doing in there? She prays with all her heart for a way to defeat sin. Something I didn't tell anyone else that day. That song we heard there, in the temple, I knew it from my childhood. It was proof that Spira and Xanarkin were connected, somehow. At least to me it was. Maybe that's why suddenly, I felt like I just wanted to go home. I tried to say something to tell them, but the words wouldn't come. I thought I had put my feelings for Xanarkin behind me. But they were there, and they grew inside me bigger and bigger, till I was just about ready to burst. Are... are you okay? I... I don't know. What do you want to do? 
to scream real loud? <laughs> Guardian. I do believe your Xanarkind exists. Why do you think she wants to make him a guardian anyway? Because he's Sir Jack's son. All right. Wait, you sure about that? He's really Sir Jack's son. It's hard to say, but Yuna seems to believe so. Okay. Okay? Okay? That's all you have to say? Well, yeah, I mean... He's gotta decide for himself, yeah? Well, him and Yuna, I guess. You're right. For once. <clears throat> I wonder which is best.
Well, well. Trying to follow in my footsteps, are you? I usually charge for lessons, you know. That shot is done like this. You can't do it, kid. But don't worry, my boy. You're not the only one. No one else can do it. I'm the best. No man else can do it. You can't do it, kid. No one else can do it. Told you you couldn't do it. You tried to do a jack shot, right? Uh. How do you know that? <laughs> Sir Jack showed it to me when I was a child. He, he called it the Sublimely Magnificent Jack Shot Mark III. Huh. Stupid name, huh? You know what? There is no Mark I or Mark II, you know? My old man said the name Mark III was just something to hook the crowd. He said they'd come back every night expecting to see Mark I and Mark II. And they really did come back. I used to get so mad. <laughs> Is he alive, you think? I don't know. But Sir Jack was my father's guardian. So he's famous here, too? Yes. So if anything happened to him, I should think word would get around fast. Uh-huh. What would you do if you found him? Who knows? I thought he died ten years ago. Well... I'd probably just smack him one. After everything he put Mom and me through. And because he was famous, I was always... Well, you should know, Yuna. Hmm? Your father's famous too. Everyone in Spira knows him, right? Hmm. Ain't it tough? 
It is hard to follow in his footsteps as a summoner. Sure. But the honor of having a father like him surpasses all that, I think. Well, there wasn't much to honor about my old man, that's for sure. You shouldn't say that about your father. I got the right. Hmm. I guess you do. Ow! Hey, it's past your bedtime, kiddos. I didn't think my old man would come to Luca. He never did like watching other people play. But I couldn't help feeling something bad was going to happen. And these feelings of mine are usually right. Sure, I had told Waka I'd help him win the tournament, but I wasn't sure I had it in me to play at all anymore. this year. Exciting, isn't it, folks? Our next team off the ramp is... Well, well, well. If it isn't, the Basaid Aurochs. They're, They're a living, living breathing, breathing statistical, statistical impossibility. impossibility. I've never seen a team this bad. That's right. In 23 years, they've never made it past the first round. Only a few die-hard fans are in the audience today. Best of luck to them and a safe journey back to Bisset. Right, Jim. Moving right along, our next team is... Here they are, folks. Our very own Luca Goers. They've got power, they've got speed, they've got teamwork. They're an all-round first-class team, and they're back home in Luka. Without a doubt, they are the favorite this year, Baba. And after the way they dominated last year, it'd take a miracle for them to lose today. You can say that again, Jenna. Look at the crowd, folks. Look at the crowd. Looks like all of Luka has turned out to cheer the goers on. They know, I know, and you know, folks. The Luca Goers are number one. Hey, it's like this every year, yeah? Don't let it bother you. Stop right there, Goers. You guys are smiling now, but not for long! Cause this year, us Aurochs are taking the cup! <laughs> what in Yevon's name were you doing up there? We sure stood out though. We were on the sphere. We were? Maester Micah is here! Already? The number three dog! What's up now? Maester Micah has arrived, that's what. Micah? Maester? 
Maester Micah is the leader of all the peoples of Spira. He's come all the way from Bavel. The tournament is being held to honor his 50 years as Maester. 50 years? Shouldn't he be, uh, retired by now? Hey, mind your mouth now. Let's all go see him. Can't see a thing. That's a guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that... Maester Seymour? People of Spira, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Maester Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Really psychs you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also.
Where's Waka? That the matchup draws. We had to play the Goers in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Waka! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first, let's go over the basics again, boys. <laughs>